So this is my current balance setup. And if you look very carefully, you can see I've got two power packs for, a, for ease. I have set them up and I already have the power on to one side of the circuit. So on the red side, I used deliberately red wires to differentiate the two circuits. I have my ammeter over here, which is currently reading one amp. We have my rheostat to which I could control the amount of current flowing through. And I have my solenoid over here, which is a 710 turn uh, with a length of 14 centimeters. Now my second circuit, which isn't switched on as yet, I have my ammeter and I have my rear stat. Again, I can control the amount of current going through. And over here, I have my current balance. So if you look carefully, I've already used this tiny little slider bit right there to balance this. Now, it doesn't have to be dead accurate in total level. The key here is this little pin here. Now, you can hang things off here, but the other thing you can do is you can use this as a pointer. So if you put a ruler over here, you can measure the amount of deflection that you need. Or more specifically, when we're going to turn this on, this is going to deflect and we want to use a staple to counterbalance that so that we go back to the original setting. So it allows you to work out exactly the amount of force on this side, which is going to be the equal the force that is being exerted inside the solenoid due to the magnetic field being generated and thereby you should be able to work out the mass of a staple and if you do it well you should get around 0.03 um, gram or 30 milligram so I'm going to turn the current on and you're going to see we're going to get a deflection so I hold it nice and steady and I'm going to turn the current on clearly deflects up nicely. You want it to deflect up because obviously we want to add the staple to counteract that. Now my suggestion is if you do that is that you um, turn it off, place the staple on there first and then adjust currents either in the uh, left side of the circuit to change the magnetic field strength or on the right side of the circuit to change the current going through the uh, wire over here in order that it goes back to that position that you'd established to be your zero position. And then you can use uh, Bill, of course, to work out the force and you can then also work out B. You use your solenoid formula to work out the magnetic field strength and thereby um, you can work at the mass of your um, staple. I hope that helps you uh, work out the current balance.